that means that vehicle is not made to carry anything bad. It is made to carry what only? Goods only. It is not correct when God looks at your own delivery van and he's seen the devil there. God is seeing vulture. God is seeing peacock, dog, goat, giraffe, python. For goods only. Noted? Talk to me, noted? All right. Then the next point is what John. Apostle John began to say. He raised a point that is critical for I and you in what we are running with. He said, don't wish a sinner, a wicked soul, God speed. Now, in serving God, what matters is not good speed. It's not good speed, but what? God speed is different from good speed. That you are having good speed does not make you to be correct. Your speed, even speedometer may be good. But the Bible is not talking about good speed here. But what? God speed. Speed that originates from God. Speed that God is in charge of it. He's the one firing the engine here. Fine. That's God's speed. Many people who started serving God before you, but they crashed. Their problem was they left God's speed and they went for what? Eh? Good speed. People were cheering them. What a driver you are. What a driver you are. What a mama you are. What this and all that, uh, that. Before you know it, the vehicle somersaulted and crashed. Anybody that wants to travel far should make Uh, sure that his vehicle is roadworthy. Your vehicle should be roadworthy. Your vehicle, I'm repeating myself, should be roadworthy. Checks should be conducted on vehicle before loading. Checks should be conducted on vehicles before loading. That is why Paul wrote to Timothy. He said, lay hands suddenly on no man. Conduct check or even checks. Is that clear? Before you adopt or pick anybody to come and handle divine work. Number one thing to check are you hearing me? Is the break. Breaks. Check the brake fluid. Brake here is patience. The only thing that can hold your vehicle back when you're already in motion and you are going into a wrong direction, probably into a ditch or dungeon, the only thing that can save you is brake. One billion question comes to you. How do you 
Become a man of patience, a woman of patience in an impatient world. How do you live differently in a world full of competition? How do you overcome the temptation for emulation? Wanting to be like the other person. Emulation. It will surely come your way as you journey. And that's why I am telling you that you need to sit down, take time, take time at intervals. If you're already moving, check your breath. I have, I had, have, yes, suffered brake failure once in life. Brake failure. We were... We went to um, Kogi State. Were you part of the journey? You were not there. To take a conference. We took the conference. The day I was to leave, my friend, our host, said, my people, they like you. Can you please lend your voice again? Give us money in charge. And that morning, I was to preach in a wedding in Onisha. Your sister's wedding. The man begged, the man of God begged and begged. He said, please, even if it is 20 minutes. I spoke. Several of his workers came out. We took photographs. I jumped into the car. I carried one of my media men. And then we started moving. I called this brother who drives. I said, move this car so that we will meet up. That's Jeep for you. Jeep. The Prado Jeep. We, 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 the, 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 the man sped. Say 10, 15 kilometers away from where I preached. And I was sitting in the front. No, 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 no. I was not sitting in the front. I was sitting in a big man's seat. I went, I, I sat there. I scattered my leg as a big man. Now, I, I am not a careless person by God's grace. Why, along the line, I discovered that this driver was struggling. He didn't, tell, he didn't want to tell me that we've lost our brakes. At a very high speed. This car was jumping like horse and we were moving. I saw that he was struggling. I called him, I said, why are you struggling? What is happening? He says, sir, I didn't want to tell you, but I lost my breath. <sighs> In fact, you wouldn't know that your car can run. You wouldn't know until you lose your breath. I don't know how the thing works, but immediately you lose your breath, then you will see speed. It's not, it, it's not a laughing matter. It was a very dangerous day for us. Check your brake. Check brake fluid. Did you gauge uh, uh, your brake with brake oil? I hope you know brake has fluid that engineers that mechanize that in they say put oil. This car sped. Look at uh, uh, this trailer in front of us. Beside us, like this by the road, are buildings. 
I told the young man, I said, swerve. Swerve left. Use this speed to overtake the trailer. He said, yes, sir. He swerved. Immediately he swerved. Another trailer was coming directly opposite. Flashing light. Flashing light that we should go away from his lane. And he was speeding coming. In fact, he pulled the horn. Wah, wah, wah. That what are we doing in his lane? I shouted. I told the brother, I said, swerve again. Let's go back. Immediately he pulled back. Look at the trailer in front of us. Look at us. I said, leave the road. Let's trust God to help us. He left the road. Every other thing that happened was history. Bim! The car will jump like this. Bim! All of us were jumping, hitting our heads on the roof. And we were just doing like this, like this. And we were saying, Jesus, your servant is here. Your servant is here. Your servant is here. Have mercy on us. Miraculously. The car came to a place and stopped. Issue of our lives would have been summarized that day. For lack of break. Excuse me. For lack of what? Young girl, you don't have break and you are preparing for wedding. You want to jeopardize your life and your destiny and uh, even the man that is coming to marry you, all of you are into trouble. Check the break. Hello, man. You want to marry without break? You want to deliver, but the vehicle does not have what? Break of self-control. What did I call it now? Do you know how much the self-break? Self-control is for sale. There's no bonanza, bonanza in God's supermarket. Everything has price tag. Self-control. Patience. Can I talk to you? You, 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 you own a car. You, have, you own a car. I hope you know. Let's use Nigerian system of road and driving to analyze what I want to say. I hope you know with that break, you can't survive in a hold up. So when things become bumper to bumper, what do you do? You don't have break. You can't survive hold ups. What did I say? You can't survive? You can't survive hold ups. Imagine you hold up. You are praying. And God is saying, We need to deepen our presence in the life of this our child. Answers your prayer physically seem not to be coming. That's the hold up. Not that God is wicked, he doesn't want to answer you, but he's doing a walk inside. Where? Inside. Bulldozers are at work, but inside. And you are looking for something physical you can touch. Another thing that must be in order is light. Do you know why you need to check light? This journey will enter night and not just night, even midnight. Oh, you are not aware that this journey will, will, will take you into midnight? It is not a day journey. It's not just day. A journey, sorry, for shine, shine time. Seasons of night will come. You need light.
can I be sure? Are you are we together? The student driver, you want to enter highway now. You know, I've spoken many things in part one. Confirmed? I don't want to go there again. No. That's why I just want to flow like this. Trafficator. Your trafficators. Recently, we nearly had a problem. Uh, we were driving to the camp. To the camp, our camp. And then, this vehicle was coming behind us. I, from the rear mirror, I, I saw the way the man was driving. I told the driver, I said, be careful. This man seemed to be in a head. He said, no, I, I have put on trafficator. We didn't know that our trafficator had stopped working. So while the driver was bringing his uh, hand steer like this to enter the camp, this guy was coming like this by our side. We would have collided or brushed ourselves, ourselves badly. The man wind down and said, why are you driving like this? We said we put our traffic gator, we are entering. Didn't you see? He said, no traffic gator. When we got to the camp, I came down. I told the young man, stay in the stair and put that traffic gator. Let's see. He put it. Uh, I said, this is not working. You know, human nature, world system, Many a times we combine together like this to confuse you. You may think that things are working, but they are not doing what? They are not working. You may think that things are in order, but they are not in order. People that are outside, they see better than you. Talk to me. They are the one that we know that this thing is not working, but you said it's working, that everything is okay. Praise the Lord. Trafficator, trafficator tells whoever is following you. Talk to me. That you are tired of moving on this road. You are taking shortcuts. Everybody should be careful so you won't jam me, you won't collide with me. That's what trafficator does. When you want to backslide, you put it. Are you hearing me? When you begin to pick offenses at Jesus, you don't want to go on the highway again. This thing will help those that are following you. Can I be sure? That you are diverting. You are not going again. So that people will not crash thinking that you are moving. When you want to leave, the highway of righteousness in Christ. Faith in Christ. Holiness in Christ. You want to join the occult. Put your trafficator. Stop pretending that you are moving, but you are not moving. Is that clear? It has caused so many accidents. Another one is inner life. What did I call it? Inner light. Inner light. Inner light will help you to see yourself. Stop seeing other people. First of all, do what? Yes. Let me, let me cite an example. If you like, you can buy into it. If you don't like, you leave it. The way I read my Bible is I read my Bible by myself and to myself and for myself. When I'm reading my Bible, for instance, I come across a place where Jesus is saying, Woe unto you, Pharisees, scribes, hypocrites. You kill the prophets, 
Or rather, your fathers killed the prophets. You built their sepulchres and said, if we were in the days of our fathers, we would, we, we would not have been partakers of their wickedness. And all of that. Is that clear? When I read scriptures like that, I don't read it for the Pharisees. I say, woe unto you, great Naman. Hypocrite. Do you know what you are doing? The entrance of the word of God, the man, give it light. That's the inner light. I check myself up. I don't read to preach. I read, study, meditate to help my life. All of you who travel, you know I travel extensively. Night and all of that, it rains and all of that. Uh -huh. I'm coming to talk on that. You'll be meeting checkpoints. Especially in the night. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Law enforcement agencies, you know they're everywhere now. When you come to their place, checkpost, maybe soldiers or police, there's a heart in a light. What is the work of inner light? Eh? Yes. The other time, we pulled the light. The thing was not shining. I asked the driver, I said, man of God, what happened? He said that he has no idea that this thing has burnt to. The, the military man said, I said inner light. We say sorry, the thing is burnt. It's burnt. It's not working again. He said, eh, then you people from where to where? We answered that one. He said, go. The other time. He said, in a light. We lit it. That one was shining. The soldier man brought his head. He said, are you people pastors? We said yes. We said blood of Jesus. <laughs> All of us laughed. He said you not enjoy it. See how my head is just cool. Anything for your boy? Talk to me. That thing helped him to spy us. And then he said, go. Go. You are pastors. We left. Amen. Talk to me, amen. A lady preacher told me she went to preach in a church evening. While she was preaching, word of knowledge came and showed him a young man. And said, this young man have been wrecking the pants of his immediate younger sister. That's the inner light. The family that gave birth to these children does not have inner light. Are you hearing me? It took another person that has light of discernment to notice. When the meeting finished, she pointed at the young man and said, see me. God said, this is what you are doing with your sister. He came under arrest. And said, mommy, you are correct. Can I know your parents? He said, my mom, my dad is in this fellowship. They are born again. Excuse me, they are born again. Do they have inner light? No light. So, now, when the mom and the dad was called, the lady preacher said, Daddy, mommy, I need to tell you this, but you need to be careful the way you handle it. Don't just get uh, angry and start misbehaving and all of that, but look at what is happening, boy. 
a young man with tears and brokenness, Christ has come, started talking, the, the man did like this. With all the morning devotions, no light. I hope you know um, this thing they call low current. What good is it? Can you use it to iron? Can it carry refrigerator? Can it even carry television? I hope you know low light will not allow television to help you see vision. I hope you know. Can it carry, can it even charge phone? Talk. No, sir, is the answer. Many Christians, their lives are like this. You have light quite all right. But what? Low current, there's nothing we can use this thing to do. The charge and the challenge from these conferences. Go and pay your nepa bill. Go back to your quiet time again. Pick your Bible again and begin to do what? And begin to read it. Read your Bible. You know you said something. In our workshop. When people. Nowadays. When they want to run a walk. A meeting for God. The first place they go to advertise it. Is in the Facebook. You know you said it. Online. 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 Let's scatter it online. You now said that our fathers God was the advertiser of their meetings. They faced God. Is that clear? Not Facebook. And that's why the dangers of this thing is we will remain shallow. 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 Once the thing is there you will not feel anybody again to earnestly pray for the meeting. Something we say, how can you pray when you have 100, 200 K followers? How many K? Imagine 200,000 ghost followers. That's what gives us confidence now. The issue of groaning. Are we together? Crying and say, Lord, may you be in attendance. Father, register this meeting in your diary. If you don't come, we are finished. Come and run this meeting. Give us words. Give us fresh bread. Come down with wine and sincere milk. You see this your Bible? Pick it up again. Our generation doesn't read Bible again. That's why we believe everything that any preacher preaches. Anything they preach, you are bound to do what? Believe it. And then you are stamping your feet. You are flexing your muscle. When we query, why are you doing this? Do you know the person that preached it? It is wrong. Inner light. Again, yes. Another thing is parking light. Your parking light. Your parking light must be in order. Your headlamp. All of these things are pointing to spiritual light. You will have all of them working well. Dashboard lights. Noted. Reverse lights. There are lights that shows that, look, this person is reversing. You must have it. It 
Is that clear? Anytime you meet a Christian that is backsliding, watch that person closely. You will see the reverse light. His languages, her languages will change. Do you know what will be their language? Happy her. What did I say? Eh? Happy her. Hello. Why, why are you doing this? Can't you remember the Bible said it should not be like this? Can you forget why? I said, happy her. Just watch. That's the reverse light. Happy her. In a take is the Bible are too much. Happy her. That's the reverse light. The person is going back. Anytime we start hearing that thing from you, we know that this is a reverse light. Parking light is to let everybody know that actually you are not a backsliding, you are not a taking shortcut, but you want to stagnate. Another thing to check is oil. Oil. Watch out. So, you need to be sure that you are not having oil leakage or leakages. Gear oil, steering oil, brake oil, all the oil containers in your vehicle, you should be checking it. Constantly. Another thing is water. You check your wipers. <laughs> Another thing is mirror. The inner mirror, the rear mirror. Side mirrors, rear mirrors. Can I be sure are you there? Yeah, you need to be sure you have your air conditioner working well. Don't tell me you are driving a truck and it doesn't have air conditioner. You know we are talking spiritual things here. Yeah? Talk to me. Yeah. When heat comes, you need a condition. Heat of widowhood. And you don't have a condition. Heat of tearful sorrowful, painful marriage. And you are telling me your vehicle does not have a condition. Or a conditioner. How then will you handle the heat? You need it. The air conditioner here is the Holy Ghost. Pay whatever price to have him go with you. Jesus called the air conditioner comforter. What did I say I called him? He said I will send him to you. Hello, comforter. You don't need to be a professor to have him. Once you meet the condition, except a man, a woman be born again. Once you are born again, is that clear? He gives him to you. He comes and leaves here. I have seen heat. I have seen heat. I hope you know that surplus can bring heat. 
Eh? Are you aware that even fruitfulness, fruitfulness can bring heat? I saw in the net, I think that thing is real or truthful. A woman delivered quadruplets. One, two, three, four. On top of all that four, the husband ran to Ghana. Those children, they don't care where the man runs to. They are there. After running, the children were just doing like this. You need to see the video. They are saying, we are here. Eight, four at once. The man ran. When he was young, that man was young, the way you are sitting down somewhere in the church, making notes, dancing band, he had no idea. That a time will come in a junction in his life, the wife will deliver four wounds. He's running in vain. He will surely come back. Are we together? Now, I hope you know this madam will be breastfeeding four of them. From what I saw, three boys. And this boy, you know the boys, they suck. So while she's feeding this one, the other three are kicking their legs in the air and they are wondering why this one is sucking much. They are crying and the language of those tears is saying, drop that thing. <laughs> what is that thing? Their brother is that thing. Drop that in jaw and help me. One, two, three, four. And children, they don't suck with timetable. If we keep now by 9 p.m. said, yeah, yeah. Aqua nine. Aqua nine. Until chief. And I call Talk to me. And I call the Aka. Young girl, you will get to that point. Heat. You need a conditioner. You may change a heat, but also you know what I'm going to Even fruitfulness brings what? Heat. Surplus brings what? Heat. Explosion in ministry brings what? Heat. You need a conditioner. The one that functions well. Oh, <laughs> one lady was uh, breastfeeding her baby. Two things happened that day. One thing that happened was this baby sucked. He, the baby can wake up anytime and start kicking in the air. Nah, 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 nah. The mother will jump up and breastfeed and throw the baby on the bed. Little, 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 little time he will stay kicking again. It was as if the woman did VG. Then this time around, he was, she was feeding this baby. Feeling so sleepy, the baby fell. From her hand, boom, on the floor. She woke up and shouted, Jesus, she grabbed the baby. All the lucky. The baby cried and turned red. When and while this lady now was single lady, she did not meet any preacher that said, prepare for tomorrow. The baby cried. She consoled her with breast milk. The baby slept again. She now said, let me pray. While she was trying to pray, opportunity Chineke, you be idiot. What that? He a mau di o la mau la rikide. Bo chineke kiri ayi. Obiasim chineke ko ya bo alukwanka. 
No kula amelia. Chineke be idiot. Mba kula. Ola plea naya. Chineke because ya chineke ya mwa kwa mwa kula chineke ya kula. When, when she was single, she did not meet anybody that preached like this and said, check the roadworthiness of what? Of this verb. Amen. Tires. You have to gauge your tires constantly for low or high pressures. Checking cords. Uneven wears, you know, wearing out of tire. The other time we were traveling like this. We had this experience. We we're driving suddenly our our vehicle started doing boom, 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 boom. I said to <laughs> so the man, the young man driving, I said, Why why are we jumping like this? He said this tire tire, the back tire, the other one, has actually worn out. I said ah. the next thing we heard was Ooh. our car in the center of the road like this and we faced our back and our back faced our front in the, 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 the tire fall like this your tires do you know how to interpret the issue of tire eh? go and read what happened to the Egyptians in the book of Hebrews 11? Anything you are doing with that faith will scatter your tires. The word of God said, God divided the Red Sea. Noted? The children of Israel passed, passed the Red Sea by what? By faith. Now, the author said, the Egyptians are saying to do so. Uh -uh. Are you getting my point? Wanting to do so. God attacked them in the middle of the sea. And clogged the wheels of their chariot. I made it heavy that they could not speed. They started dragging it as they fired the engine. They whipped the horses. The thing was not moving. Then the flood came. I read Ezekiel. Ezekiel said he saw cherubim, seraphims with wheels. Those wheels had eyes. In them. When I read my Bible like that, I begin to pray. I say, Lord, give my tires eyes. You know, I'm, talk I'm not talking physical things now. Talk to me. Give this mantle, the tires and wheels of this mantle, eyes. If wheels of the cherubims could have what? Eyes. It is possible for my own to have eyes. Amen. Driving in the rain. Rain reduces visibility. How, how many of you, you, you drive? Can I see your hand? You drive? You have car? You drive? Yes. Have you ever met 
heavy rain while you were driving? What was your experience? Eh? Okay. You were driving and then rain came and your two headlamps are not working and this is night and your wiper failed you. So what, what do you suggest? Then this is wilderness. It is night. This is a, a dangerous terrain. I'm robbers and terrorists are in the bush here. And you are saying park. Wiper. Tim, 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 tim. And then the thing did pim. And did not come back again. Now, all of you that are young, take this before I close. I want to close now. I can't, even in the next one month, believe me, 30 days, I cannot exhaust this thing. I can only say the ones that time will allow us to contain. Listen to me. You are coming to drive in the night. This is end time. Your case is worse than the cases, or rather what several fathers saw in their own driving experiences. Yours is worse. You are coming to drive in an age of YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, what again? Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp. Difficult. <laughs> Thank God for that kind of uh, difficult. TikTok, okay, is that what you call difficult? <laughs> Many incurable diseases. Doctors are confused. Politicians are confused. Economists are confused. Industrialists are confused. In an era of everything going substandard, substandard, including the gospel. Including the gospel is watered down now. That's the era you are coming to be a Christian to serve God. Have, have you seen it? You need walking, functioning, what? Wiper, headlamps, horn, tire, brake. Is that clear? Your engine oil, your steering, experience, experience. Now, do you know why you need experience? If you don't know, experience is... The things that happens on the road, you will die very soon. Somebody was telling us we were coming from a, a long journey. It was night. I was sitting beside the driver. It was night. The driver started sharing with us. He said, this place, one novice, somebody that started driving newly, started driving newly, came to this spot. Lazarus boss, he saw two bags of rice, 50 kg, packed on the center of the road. The thought he had was this thing fell. Talk to me. Ah, are you hearing me? From a uh, a particular vehicle that passed. He parked. Commanded the driver, the conductor to get down and collect the bags. Armed robbers came out. What is the problem of this uh, driver? He, he's, he's, he's inexperienced. Armed robbers went to the market and bought rice. 
knowing that there are ignoramuses that plies this road, they know that it is not everybody that have the knowledge. That time, bag of rice, I think 5,000 5, or even 3,000 3, naira, they burned 6,000 to get something. It's business. They packed it by the road. All of you are idiots. They said, yes, sir, we are idiots. He said, okay, start, all of you start coming down. They robbed all of them. You need experience. One brother said, he was a Jonah. He said, daddy, I was a Jonah to a vehicle. An apprentice, somebody serving a man, a young man serving a man, is that clear? Talk to me, was looting the man, looting that man's money, and then bringing it to this brother to be saving the money for him. And this is a child of God. This young man will loot the, 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 the master's uh, money and bring it to him, and he's not even saving it. He was using it to build his own business. God came to him and said, why are you doing this? You are not representing me well. He said, God, I am sorry. God, I am sorry. Anytime the boy is ready, I will refund. The boy kept bringing, kept bringing, kept bringing. Look at what God did. He was traveling to Lagos. He joined Los Zero's Balls. What we call Los Zero's Balls. You know it? So, they were moving somewhere around uh, Abo, you know Abo? Yeah. And it was afternoon, no, not night. Arm robbers came out from the bush. Quack, 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 quack. Oh God. Things are, you know you, you want to travel, you want to deliver. You'll be meeting these things. The spiritual robbers are even worse. I hope you know. Fine. Now, they said, those armed robbers, they said, all of you, don't cry. Don't. They said, calm down. We are in good mood. Boss, they said, uh, boys, they said, boss. He said, are we not in good mood? He said, yes. He said, no problem. They dropped this bag we call Ghana must go. You know it? They had many of them. They opened it and dropped it on the door of the luxurious bus and said, this is how we will do it. Just trip yourself of everything down to pants. Bra, boxer, put them here. Phone, money, granite oil, anything here. Put it here. Voice came to the brother in the bus and said, have you seen what you caused for these people? He was saying, God have mercy. God have mercy. God said, how long will I have mercy? I told you this thing how many years ago. Stop. You did not stop. And he carried serious money cash-wise going. God now brought this koboko. And all of these people are sharing. Have you seen it? That in the realms of the spirit, you need to be careful the passengers you pick. People you take into your house, you are allowed to come close to your life. Where the matter lie that there was, or see, they are give you don't give you punu kego see I get a la chaga give my guy. Come on, we don't have time. We will fire out. When you open up, you don't lose the belt. He lay put on a trouser, he lay put on a shoe, stockings, shirt, singlet, boxers. Onyo bu na dike dam, ogwe me dam. 
Talk to me, you know Adam in the Garden of Eden. Fine. One mama that was going to Lagos for Mugo also. They said if we enter the bus and we see any phone that you hid anywhere, you are looking for our trouble. When one bag is full, they will zip it up. They will drop it. They will open another one. They have bought many of them. Young girls, young boys, old men, old women, everybody became a dab. When they finished, they carried those things, loaded it in the uh, um, uh, vehicle and said, make una go where? They drove off. When you open a say to Anna, Ne, 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 zibie. Do we continue? <laughs> or do we go back? Well, yeah, okay, I was in K, yeah, no. And they, if you see. Guy, na. Now, in that, I got a pigeon. What is it? You know, when he shared that story with me, I said, God, may you help me. That driver, if he had known, there are still Jonas. Talk to me. If you pick them, you'll run into problem. Put them into your calling. Put them in your business. Put them in your office. Call this one. Make how him house help. He will turn your family upside down. Turn your business upside down. Turn your ministry upside down. They picked the wrong passenger that day. I pray that God will help you. The end of the story. Some of uh, the neighbors, neighbors, when those uh, robbers left, some of them ran inside. I started bringing them, started bringing shabby, 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 shabby clothes just for the girls, for the mamas and old papas that were there. They left the boys. So those those boys were doing like this. We, our own going to say clothes, no finish. Clothes don't finish. So there were be, between two opinions. Do we continue? Say continue how like this? Do we go to back to Anisha even like this? You mean we will drop like this at Opi Waker like this? Yes. I, I, did you learn anything? Eh? Why you are trying to take this journey, take time, you will meet nights. Make sure your windscreen is good. Wipers, what? Are good. Your horn working. Tires. Propellers. Every ligament of your vehicle. Amen. Say amen. amen. If you don't have this sorry, obedient heart, you are in trouble. Your vehicle is not correct. Self-control. If you lack it, there's a problem. If you don't have faith, rugged, dogged faith that in fact, hope that hopes against hope. Abraham grew to that level. When there is nothing to hope, the man kept hoping. And God later rewarded it all. Today, he's called the father of many nations. Can I hear men? If you don't have that kind of rugged, dogged faith that 
You know, I told you today, today is Friday, confirmed. A lady, 63 years, is having her traditional marriage today. 63 years. How old? Had her traditional marriage today, 63 years, 63. Not just an ordinary lady, a daughter of Abraham, 63 years. She's coming to wear her wedding gown at 63. By the time she ought to be grandma, maybe even seeing her second generation, she's only coming to have her drive. You wonder what kept her going in this faith in Christ till now. Such faith can be ordinary. Can I hear amen? No, let me hear amen. Fine. That's what I want you to take away with. Anywhere you, you lay your head tonight, ponder on these things. Am I roadworthy? I don't want to open another window so that we will summarize here. Am I roadworthy? I noted that it is very dangerous to reverse in the night. What did I say now? Very dangerous to do what? To reverse in the night. Have you learned how to handle sharp bends? Not just bends, but what? Sharp one. Have you been taught that you don't turn sharply on speed? You do what? When you get to that kind of place in your walk with God, you slow down no matter what people are saying. Slow down. What are the things that are causing several engines to knock? Is it not lack of oil? I will tell you that our duty is, is not to prepare it's not to prepare the road for you, but to prepare you for the road. What did I say? It's not to prepare the road for you. That's not our job. What is our job? To prepare you for the, for the, for the road. To prepare you for the road, not to prepare the road for you. The road is already there and it is narrow and straight. I cannot dualize another road for you. It's not my job. The only thing that I need to be careful to teach you is, let me be careful not to make the road narrower than, than the narrowness God has made it. And again, not, don't force me to bring brudos on it. Don't tell me to expand it. It's not my job. My job is to prepare you for the jungle. Night journey. Prepare for it. How to handle robbers. Checkpoints. The motion like this, they tear you back. At times they will collect your four hours. Spiritual things. I hope you know what I'm talking about. They will do like this and say, eh. Hey, Say this paper, where your mama name? Your mama name, no damn. So officer, what do you mean mama name? He say, eh? you, you are teaching me my job. <laughs> you are teaching me my job. You know what they will do to your papers? They will do it like this. And say your mama name. No doubt. And, and you are talking like this. Pack well. 
four, five hours. You will meet them. Spiritual ones are even more dangerous. Excuse me, can you encourage me? Did I waste your evening? I did not. Mm -hmm. You've encouraged me and I'm okay. That I did not waste your time. You know, somebody here might be saying, let this man go away. Let a man with good news come and push power. Now, <laughs> heaven is my witness. I have moved power. Talk to me. I have moved power. Ponder on these things. They are truths. Check these things. It will surely come your way. No matter the fasting, you will meet these things. When I married my wife newly, our marriage was around some weeks, either three weeks old. I was having my quiet time very early in the morning. My wife was sleeping. I prayed. I read my Bible. I was meditating. I fell into a trance. One woman, feminine goddess, was somewhere far off and said to me in a loud voice, Anna Chidenya Hagina Kukwa wedding couples. When the Lord showed me my wife and said, This is the person to marry, he did not tell me, I mean God, that. Demons are planning to write my name in the book of awaiting couples. It was that day that I got to know that there is a book like that. Awaiting couples. When my wife was young and single in Pentecostal church like this, singing and dancing up and down, she had no idea that she will come to that level where the devil will threaten. He took warfare before mercy was lent to us. Without mercy by now, I would have been struggling. Somebody will whisper to you as you sit like this and say, this man you see has not gotten any child. We started, not we, I started. When I roared my wife, Woke up and said, What is it? I said, Don't worry. This one is for me. I started crying to God, bombing the kingdom. I said, Both myself and my brethren, whose names are already written there. Is that clear? I started praying. I said, Lord, deliver them. Deliver me. Whatever be the platform, any handle or hook, the thing they have in my life and destiny with which to, you know, put my name there, any covenant, oath, pledges, my father, mother made on my behalf and the ones I made unknowingly. I present Calvary. I present Calvary. Whatever be the sacrifice they burnt, there is no sacrifice above the supreme sacrifice Christ made at the cross. Greater blood. Is that clear? I present. I present. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Before my first baby came. Imagine if God did not prepare me in my singlehood. Imagine. If it were that time that this battle came, come just a mobile case and walk. Agada, it is a mobile case and walk. If you don't bother to sing, go in my yamaly, go in my yamaly. Go in a maro yamaly, a chinek in him, and I come to your chicken. They make a tea, yeah, 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 and I wake up. He said, "Biashi ne keke kunu meleke ma kumu waza keke ma Abraham Isaac na jeko hapata kwa lola keke kene lumfe nugo you know can I be sure? Are you getting my point? You don't you don't you don't you don't you don't learn war when war is at your gate. That's why we are telling you this thing. When we tell you pray, 
train yourself and pray. Don't think we are disturbing you. You are going to face overdose of battles. Not just by overdose. Overdose of them. Pray, pa. Furnish your mind and your heart with the word of God. Eat the word. Meditate the word. Read the word. Buy Bible if you don't have good one. Have a resource Bible. What did I say you should have? A resource Bible. I have Bibles, but I have a resource Bible. I travel, I journey with this one. By the time I will be ending my journey here, this is my resource Bible that I will hand over to the coming generation. I said, I journeyed with God with this Bible. You don't have resource Bible. Some of you that wants to do exploit. Your Bible started in Leviticus. Exodus had it so in order in our people. In our quadro did they put Egypt? Yeah, he has seen on Egypt. Why did your Bible start from Leviticus? Torn and scattered by you carry it like that, haggard, laggard. To tell God that you don't like his word. God said, because you have rejected my word. This thing you play with, you toy with, you watch TV, you play games. More than the word. You are disqualifying yourself from what God wants to do with your life. Marry your Bible. Start reading it. At least one page per night. At least one chapter. Jesus said to Peter, at least one hour. Worse, get to worse. What did Jesus say to Peter? He said, one hour. It's okay. One hour. Fasting. Forget about Osa. Osa did not attack Jesus. Osa did not attack Moses. Oh. The problem is you don't know how to handle fasting. That's your problem. You may be fasting. Me, 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 church, I say to her. Eta carrot. Ela chap in up. All the two acidic. You don't use it to lay foundation. Ela chap orange. Eta apple. These things are too strong. Your system may need it because of those fasting. Okay, create wounds now, walls of your stomach. Even when you want to drink water, you sip it. It's up to the ground when you get to a million kilokute. Ordinary water, it will seem as if you swallow stones. You don't know how to. That's why this issue of all south, 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 south. Are you hearing me? Start with 6 to 12. Start like that. Live dry alone. Start small. What did I say? Start small. Start small. Train yourself. Fasting is a weapon. I hope you know. Jesus said that this demon, this battle, you can't win it until you drop food, drop television, drop phone, Holistic fast. Let your fingers, your leg, your hands, your eyes, your ears, everything about you fast. Then you will win this battle. He said, add fasting to this. You don't know how to fast. Some of you, do you know why? Anytime you come for this meeting and to this meeting, maybe now no carry every side and a kidney. Ever go checking out. Immediately, Manuel good is good news is saying, I'm about summarizing. Oh, yeah, that's all you want. We know it. Side that came out of the car. My car came out Thank God, and don't look Now, 
you cannot even listen. God provided food. Ima told me that God provided enough. In fact, you people, you can't finish what God provided. Then we still have leftover. So we are not saying this so that you won't eat. But I'm telling you, you need to start training yourself. You are too bloody a civilian to be part of God's army. You are not disciplined. There are nothing, there's nothing you do say no to. Everything is yeah. You don't have any red line that nobody crosses this place because of your consecration with God. You don't have it. You don't read books. You don't listen to good, 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 good tapes. These are the things you will use to resource yourself and make yourself resourceful. Make yourself marketable. What did I say you should do? Aha! Ibido Kabafia, make yourself marketable. Thou art my weapons of war and battle axe. Thou art my, your brain, your mind, your thinking, innovative, creative, inventive, receptive, retentive faculties. That's God's battle axe. Or if I can go to get you, you know, your will, your emotions. Are we together? You need to keep these things in order. Your emotion, your mind, your will, your eating appetite, your sexual appetite must come under the control of the Holy Spirit. That's God's battle axe. Or if I can God, God will leverage on these things and use it to fight. When they are scattered, you are porous, you are not organized, you don't know your left from your right, how then will God use you? Thou art my battle axe, and what again? And weapons of war. Sharpen this battle axe. Let it be sharp. Read books. Beat your body. Say no to many desires of your body. Let's watch television where you have not prayed, you've not read your Bible enough. And not just reading Bible. Balance your spirituality with spirituality and responsibility. Begin to take responsibilities. You don't know that some of the things that happens to you in this camp and in our camp is a test. Humble yourself and wash plates. I used to go to camps those days. Something similar to this camp. Is that clear? Those years in my singlehood, I started preaching, little, little open doors. Some people that they knew me here, they used to come to that meeting. Ah, that great, that great, that time. When I finished, they gamble for my plate. I said, let's wash for you. I tell them, no, God is my witness. I said, don't wash for me, I will wash. I want to experience that. Wash it and then join and the rinse the, 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 the plates in the other pan and then wipe away the water. I, I go away to where they drop it. I drop the, the whatever. I drop the spoon. I wipe away this the, the water from my hand like this. That's why I can preach it today. Laziness. Tomorrow they will do it to you. Young girl like you, see how lazy you are. Eat, wash the plate. It becomes difficult for you, young man. Very difficult for you. As little, as young as you are. Bend down, wash plate. It's, it's, it's a matter. And yet you want to do exploit. If you are not faithful in little, little things, who will give you big things? You think you are too big to bend down, queue like this. The other time, if you can remember in our youth summit, I, I did the drama, though not drama. You know, I queued up. I went to the queue in our conference, youth like this. I entered the queue. Hey! This young man shouted and said, Daddy Great, he said, Daddy Great, he said, Daddy, 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 Daddy Great, Daddy Great, he queued up to take food. The team made news. Several of them left the line, brought phone. They, they started videoing. They were putting it in the net that look at Daddy Great on, on the queue. Yes. Yes. And I meant it, or I wanted to pass a message to them. And I stayed there until I got to, to the spot. 
I said, give me fufu. Give me my own soup. They did. I carried it away. Sat down somewhere and swallowed it. Did it reduce my anointing? No. All that I preached in that conference did not impact those youth the way that thing impacted them. And I washed my plate. They saw me wash my plate. My kitchen department were there. I said, no. I washed my plate. It did not reduce my anointing. It added value to my anointing. For some of you who think we are degrading you by asking you to queue and take food. And then you bend down and wash plate you like this. You now say, who you? You mean you still have hold? Now, <laughs> God, God will use us to, to close that hole. Amen. Where is Emmanuel good news? I have not prayed for you. I have not prayed for you since this meeting commenced. I have not even made any other call. It is deliberate. Tomorrow, tomorrow, will be a very serious day between I and you and this altar. Amen. I heard God, as I read my Bible, he said, break up the fallowed ground. Don't sow prayers among tongues. I have labored to remove tongues, prayers and brambles. From tomorrow, I will begin to sow prayers. I will begin to sow into your head. I will sow into your ministry. I will sow into your destiny. I will sow into your marriage. I will sow into your now. I will sow into your future. Whether the devil likes it or not, by faith, you will do exploits. You will do exploits. You like this doing exploit will be God rewarding us. The only reward we will have in this ministry is heaven and you doing exploits. When we see you fulfilling your calling, that will be our joy. Paul said to the Corinthians, he said, you are my joy, you are my crown, you are my glory. So I want to trust God, you will be our crown. Amen. When people will try to mock or jeer us, or jeer at us, and say, hey, what, is this? what has ever come from it? We will point at you. Amen. And say, this one is our product. This one is our product. The other one is our product. And the word of God said, wisdom is justified by her children. You are the one that will justify this mantle. Only wisdom will justify her children. Say, who born this one? Velo Fibro. Where is this one coming from? They say, Velo Fibro. That's the joy. That's our crown. That's our glory. That's what gives us joy in ministry. You've not given us anything since you came. So what then is our joy? What do we derive from this thing? It is you Entering into your destiny. Amen. That is why destiny is here. What is, can you read it? Yes, that's what God told me from the day one. He gave me this man to said something similar to my, my son's calling. That's the ministry of Jesus. Bringing many sons to glory. Snatch them from darkness and error and corruption, madness, fibroid. Is that clear? Basliding, homosexuality, lesbianism, poverty. Snatch them and bring them to glory. Listen to me by God's grace. We will labor to bring you to glory. Yeah. Your ministry will change and have a new shape now. Go and drop what God said you should drop. Pick what God said you should pick. And God will reshape you again. Amen. You may lose members. 
Some of them will say, we don't understand what he's talking in now. We don't, we don't, we don't. They will leave, but God will be there. And one with God is the majority. Stand up, let us pray. I love the man, man of Calvary. He has done so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent out. He goes to me. I love the man of Galilee. I love this man. Man of Calvary, he has done so very much for me. Open your mind. He has forgiven me all my sins and sins. Holy goes to me. I love the man of Galilee. I love this man. Man of Calvary, he has done so very much to me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent down Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of God. your temperament surrender submit submit your business submit submit it to him make yourself a student driver student driver student driver Pray that you will remain a student. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent down Holy Ghost to me. I love you. I'm calling you. Talk to him. Say, Father, take over. Take over. Make sure you mean business.
Can you respond to the preparation? I'm waiting for you to talk to him. Father, walk on my prayer. 